everyone um welcome to my youtube channel um this is actually my first video so if you're seeing this that means i've successfully uh, gone through the process of filming and editing um which is almost a miracle so hopefully you'll be watching this um so for my first video i actually just wanted to film um a march wrap up so this month i actually managed to read six books um four of them are in paperback and two of them are ebooks um as this month is international uh women's history month i wanted to dedicate this whole month to female authors so the first book i want to start off with is the crossing by samaj yazbek um, this is a book about Syria, so Summer is a, a Syrian journalist um, and she illegally crosses the border a few times to get into Syria, so from Turkey to Syria um, and it's more like a documentation of the people she meets while she's in Syria um, and just kind of telling their story um, and really voicing the struggle of the Syrian people. Um, this I read quite a lot of um, political books, but this was one of the most difficult um, books. You know, the immense amount of uh, suffering the Syrian people have had to go through. Um, you know, a movement that started um, what looked like would be a revolution has now ended in... Well, it hasn't ended, it's still continuing. Um, with people suffering, people having to flee their homes. Um, and you know, settle into Turkey if they can if they can cross the border. Um, really heavy, really heavy on the heart. But if you care, if you want to know more about the Middle East and you care about Syria and you know, you want to find out more um, of the conditions of the Syrian people, I definitely recommend this book. Um, the second book I want to talk about is Love and Other Thought Stories by Thought Experiments by um, Sophie Ward. Um, I don't really know. Um, I This book was not my kind of thing. It actually came to me. Um, I got it in a book, um, what are these called? Book subscriptions. Um, so it's not, I wouldn't pick it out. Um, it's got, it's a, it's a bit of like philosophy and sci-fi. Um, so the chapters usually start with like a philosophical quote and then the text kind of explains it. If this sounds like your sort of thing, um, go for it. It definitely um, was The not. third book I finished this month is Black Girl Finance by Selena Flavius. Um, this is such an interesting book and it's definitely an eye, an eye opener. Um, so Selena basically talks about getting your money together, you know, getting your S together um, and just how to take control of your money instead of your money taking control of you. She talks about, you know, having an emergency fund um, for emergencies <laughs> so, yes. um, and um, investing and she says that, you know, investing doesn't have to be a white man's world suited and booted. You, you are very much capable of investing and actually um, after I finished this book, I actually started investing. The so. fourth book I finished this month is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Um, this is a book where I wish um, the book... I feel like this book should be in the curriculum. I feel like kids should be reading this book in school, maybe replace, uh, the actually only book I can think of is Mice and Men and I actually like that book. So uh, maybe replace some of the others, I'm not sure, but basically this book is about um, a trans girl called Amanda. Um, she, she goes through, the bullying gets so bad in her school where she, when she lives with her mum that she leaves that school um, and she moves. The new in. school seems to be a better environment um, than her previous one. So she's got um, three, four best friends, um, and she's even dating a guy. Uh, things seem to be better until um, something goes wrong, and she actually trusts someone, and the only person that she 
tells her trans identity to actually um ends up exposing her sorry for the spoiler i think this book and books similar should be um part of the curriculum because when you're sitting there as a reader and you're reading the experiences um of a trans woman or a trans man um it really gives you the chance to become that person like become uh, the narrator and the emotions and the struggles that they go through it's almost like you're going through it or your best friend's going through it um and i did there were so many times in the book where i wanted to meet amanda and give her a hug and just you know society is harsh and hard enough as it is um so i think encouraging people to read books like this from a young age um will firstly give them a better understanding of the trans book is um carolina dark 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 eyes um so i had to read this book for a blog talk that I'm taking part in, so read the book and then review the book. Um, so it wasn't a book of my choice. Um, it's not a book that I picked out and, you know, that I would buy usually. I definitely wasn't the target market, target audience. Um, I think it's more young adult fiction um, and sadly I'm not that anymore. <laughs> um, but the book is basically there's vampires, there's werewolves and um, the underground world of these two forces fighting and quite a lot of fighting, um, very action and I feel like I at this age appreciate a bit more of mature literature instead of um, say for example something like uh, I could feel his heart beating when I hugged him something like that um i don't know <laughs> i don't want to feel his heart beating when i hug him um no i'm joking but yeah it was just too like romanticized and the most uh simple acts for me were just um exaggerated and um yeah not for me but i feel like like i'm someone who read twilight when i was 16 or however old i was back then um and I loved it. So maybe if I was younger, I would have loved it. Um, and to be fair, the book has like four, four and a half stars on Goodreads. So um, it's my word against theirs. And I'd say the last maybe book of the month was actually an audio book um, by Suzanne Abdu Abu Hawa. Sorry. Um, and it's called Against the Loveless World. Um, this, this was one of the books that I read and I instantly wanted to go online and speak about how much I love this book and how thankful I am um, to the author for sharing uh, it's a fictional book but it feels like a very personal experience yeah. again if you're someone who is interested in the Middle East or you'd like to find out more about Palestine and um, hear it from a Palestinian uh, point of view I definitely recommend the book um, in the book Naho actually gets um, sentenced to what in the beginning seems like a life sentence but she's in a prison cell called The Cube um, and she it's just her I forgot what the English term for this is but she can't see any other um, prisoners she's a political prisoner kept by the Israeli state so I don't know it, it it was an easier read than um, The Crossing because obviously it's a fictional book, but the the, the topic is um, quite similar, 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 um, and it, it really I'll definitely be reading more of Suzanne's books because from her literature, you can feel the activist in her and the kind of refusal to not speak about the subject and let I don't know what the way to word this would be but to do Palestinians justice through her literature um, again this is a book I feel like should be passed from reader to reader um, but yeah that is the summary of all the books I've read this I hope you guys enjoyed my March wrap up 
and um, I'll see you guys in another video.